Well, there's a great way to honor our military men and women this Memorial Day. A new grilling cookbook is out and it raises money to help wounded veterans. Food Network host and Air Force veteran Sonny Anderson is here now with all the details. Sonny, how are you? Meryl, I'm great. Thanks for having me. How are you? I'm doing great and I'm so excited to hear about this because I know this is a cause that's really close to your heart. Tell me about this cookbook. It truly is. You know, I'm an Army brat, Air Force vet, and this is a crowdsourced cookbook with all the proceeds going to veterans, so very near and dear to my heart. It's available today at grillingforheroes.com, and this is a really cool cookbook because basically when we started out, we had no recipes, we had no cookbook, and we were just like hoping that America would send in recipes and stories to go along with it, so we went everywhere we could and told people to go on to grillingforheroes.com and submit not just the recipe but maybe a story that uh, goes with it that's about the military or a veteran so we got all of those recipes and stories in and whittled it down to about 50 recipes that are available now at grillingforheroes.com you've got some beautiful examples of some of the recipes in the cookbook there yeah. uh, so tell me about what you've got well, so out of all of the submissions, we kind of chose our favorite as the winner. And our winner is Sean. She has a blog called I Wash You Dry. And this is her Honey Dijon Chicken. It's very simple, which is what we loved about this recipe, is its simple, delicious flavor. It's just a honey and Dijon marinade and glaze. And then at the very end, a quick sprinkle of parsley just to kind of bring home the fresh flavors. Uh, and it's simple to do. I've also got a recipe that I put in the cookbook. It's my orange beef that you grill uh, after you marinate it in a reduction of orange juice and then rub it with some uh, olive oil, a little bit of onion and garlic powder and some chili powder and then obviously just grill up some broccoli and toss it. Um, and then we got a recipe submission from Matt in Queens. This is just a classic baby back rib recipe with an awesome glaze of like brown sugar, paprika and smoky but slightly spicy chili powder as well. Really, really cool recipe submissions at grillingforheroes.com. That looks absolutely delicious. Okay, so again, this is It'll an ebook. We can't go to a bookstore to find this. Tell us how we yeah. get it. Yeah, this is a very unique book. So it's an ebook, which means it's digital. It can be on your phone or on your laptop or whatever digital device you have. I like the idea of it because if you're cooking, you can go to the grocery store and you have your, your ingredients that you need to buy right there in your hand. Um, and the cool thing about this website, it's grillingforheroes.com. If you log on today and you buy this digital cookbook, not only are you getting 50 great recipes, but every single penny that you donate goes to that charity that I told you about hope for the warriors so it's a really unique digital cookbook uh, and I hope that not only you know you log on and get one for yourself but you tell your friends about it we will take as little as five dollars for a donation that sounds fantastic you got to have some desserts in that cookbook cool. right you know it girlfriend it's all about Americana so it's not just grilled meats but we've got desserts in there side dishes as well uh, we've got everything that you would expect in an awesome cookbook that's crowdsourced by America all right. It sounds wonderful. Sonny, thanks so much for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thanks for having me, Meryl. We're really excited about it. Log on to grillingforheroes.com today, and I hope that you get the cookbook. I, I think we definitely will do that. Happy Memorial Day to you and everybody. Donations will be accepted in exchange for downloads of the cookbook at grillingforheroes.com. As we said, 100% of the proceeds are going to that nonprofit organization, Hope for the Warriors.